let's understand rolling update deployment in kubernetes a rolling update deployment in kubernetes is a strategy used to update applications running in a cluster without causing downtime this approach gradually replaces old version of pods with new versions ensuring that application remains available to users throughout the update process below i'll explain the concepts in detail covering key components steps involved configurations and benefits let's understand key components first is deployment the deployment resource in kubernetes manages desired state of your application including number of replicas and container images to use next is replica set a replica set ensures that a specific number of pod replicas are running at any given time during a rolling update a new replica set is created to manage the new version of application third is pods pods are a smallest deployable unit in kubernetes any in cap they encapsulate one or more containers now let's understand steps user administrator initiates update the process begins when a user or administrator update the deployment manifest to specify a new version of application container image next is kubernetes api server receives the update the update deployment manifest is sent to kubernetes api server which then updates the deployment specification deployment controller detects change the deployment controller part of kubernetes control plane detects the change in deployment specification and calculates the difference between the current state and desired state then comes creation of new replica set a new replica set is created based on the updated deployment specification this replica set is responsible for managing the new version of application pods fifth one is gradual replacement of pods the replica set controller starts creating new pods using new replica set while simultaneously scaling down the old replica set by terminating old pods the process follows specified max unavailable and max surge setting max unavailable defines how many pods can be unavailable during this thing and max surge is that how many number of pods your deployment can exceed extra on top of your replica set then comes readiness check each new pod performs a readiness check to ensure that it's functioning correctly before being added to the service pool these checks ensures that only healthy pods are serving traffic seventh is that terminating termination of old pods as new pods are created and pass readiness check to old to the replica set controller then replica set controller starts terminating old pods the process continues until all pods are replaced with new ones once desired state is achieved the deployment controller marks the update as complete now let's understand few of the configuration parameters max unavailable this parameter specifies the maximum number of pods that can be unavailable during update process it can be set as absolute number or percentage of total number of pods max surge this parameter specifies the number of extra pods that can be created during update process it can also be set as absolute number or percentage of total number of pods let's understand benefits of rolling update it has zero downtime the application remains available to user throughout the update process ensuring no disruption to service gradual rollout changes are introduced incrementally 
reducing the risk of widespread failure problem can be detected and addressed early in rollout process automated rollback if an issue is detected during update kubernetes can automatically roll back to previous stable version minimizing the impact on user controlled resource utilization by configuring max unavailable and max search administration can control the number of pods running during update optimizing resource utilization let's understand common use cases deploying a new version of application with new feature or bug fixes updating configuration setting environment variables or secrets used by application applying security patches container images and all other things now finally to conclude a rolling update deployment in kubernetes is a powerful and efficient strategy for updating application with minimal disruption by leveraging kubernetes built in mechanism of managing deployments administrator can ensure that their application remains highly available even during update flexibility provided by configuration parameters like max unavailable and max search allows to fine tune control over update process making rolling update a preferred choice for many production environments